Thank you. Little did I know that back in 1945, when I needed a summer job, when school was out, as I was a school teacher in Oregon City, and I wondered what I was going to do for the summer, I visited my uncle south of Seattle, and he said, come and live with him, go to work with him at Boeing's. He would get me on. We carpooled. There was gas rationing. Meat and sugar were rationed. Coffee was rationed. We stretched our dollars. We worked together as a team. The United States pulled together to do what we needed to do to win the war. I was riveting and bucking rivets on the left wing of the B-29 for that summer. President Roosevelt had asked for the United States to build around 60,000 airplanes a year. Boeing's put out about 62,000. Altogether, over 300 airplanes were built, 300,000. More than we'd ever anticipated we'd be able to build. My husband was in Europe fighting what he needed to do under President, under General Eisenhower. He was a radar mechanic on the C-47s, dropping paratroopers into Normandy, setting up radar in Belgium behind more German lines. And after the war, he helped to to evacuate the survivors of the Holocaust out of the concentration camps from Germany in, into France. He was sitting in Marseille, France, ready to be shipped to the Philippines to fight the war in Japan. It was my birthday, August the 6th, 1945. The loudspeaker came on for us on the assembly lines of the B-29s to take a break. 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the middle of the afternoon. The speaker came over the, came on and said a bomb had just been dropped by a B-29 on Hiroshima. Best birthday present I ever had. Maybe, maybe my husband won't have to fly over Japan. Three days later, Nagasaki was born. Jim's ship, instead of going to the Philippines, turned around and came to the east coast of the United States, and he was home by the end of October. We owe a lot to our veterans. Without our veterans, we would not have our freedom. We owe our freedom to the veterans of the Revolutionary War, or we would be under the rule of England. We owe our freedom to the veterans of the Civil War, or we would be a divided country. We owe our freedom to the World War I vets 
and the World War II vets, or we would be under the rule of Germany. I don't know what's going to happen as we go down the road. The United States has its challenges with the Middle East, Iran, Iraq, Korea, China, Russia. I don't know what's going to happen, and I'm fearful. We don't want to lose our freedom. We need to appreciate it. And again, we need to appreciate our veterans. Our veterans need help getting the medical attention they need if they are wounded in body, mind, and spirit. We must not forget them. They need our care. So take care of our veterans. They need to be honored and cared for and enjoy your freedom. This is a great country. We don't want to lose it. Thank you.